The UK is a home to 2.6 million students, studying at 300 colleges and almost 200 universities. The, the education sector contributes almost £43.9 billion in revenue. So, here is a complete guide for you to apply for a student visa in 2023. My name is Hemang Lahiru and I'm a regulated advisor with Conroy Baker Limited. Student visas is often an area which is of interest to anyone who is pursuing either a graduate or a postgraduate course in the UK. In 2022 alone, the Home Office granted 166,000 visas to students from India alone. That shows the vibrancy of the student education sector and the number of students applying for the UK. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about five steps to apply for a student visa in 2023. The first step is to start with the research. With the plethora of courses that the UK universities offer and the number of options which are available, students have to be mindful about the course content, they have to be mindful about the intakes of the courses and also the tuition fees that could be different for different courses which are being offered at the universities in the UK. The second step is to obtain an admission letter from the university. It's also known as a confirmation of acceptance of studies and it forms a very important document when you have to apply for a visa for your student application. The third step is to identify the appropriate visa route for you. Depending on the kind of the course, the duration of the course, you might be eligible to apply for a short-term study visa or you could look at applying for the general student visa formerly also known as the tier 4 student. Once you've identified the right route and you could visit the Home Office website to get the information about the different visa routes or you could speak to a regulated immigration advisor to identify the appropriate route for your application. Once you've done that, the next step is to collate all the documents to ensure that you meet the requirements. Primarily, when you want to apply for this visa, you need to ensure that you have a valid passport, which will allow you to travel and to endorse your visa vignette on it. You need to also ensure that you have the appropriate funds to meet the living cost. Now, this is in addition to the tuition fees that the universities will be charging. The living cost requirement is different if your course is either in London or it's based outside of London. The information about the living cost is available in the description box below. You could also look at subscribing to our newsletter to get the details about the latest costs for your UK visa application. Now, once you have an idea and you've got the acceptance from the university, you meet the requirements for the maintenance funds, you've shown that you've got adequate funds to pay the tuition fees as well, you then move to the next step, which is actually applying for the visa. This is the most important stage in the whole process. Once you've collated the paperwork, the online application needs to be completed. You can apply for a student visa if you're within the UK, or you could also apply for it from outside the UK. It's important to note that you leave plenty of time in order for your visa to get processed. There have been delays in terms of the processing of the applications, though this is now streamlined in 2023 and the UK has also opened up priority processing for student visa applications. Nevertheless, it wouldn't hurt you to ensure that when you file your application, you have more than adequate time so that you don't miss the start of your intake. The normal processing time for a visa is about three to four weeks. You could also offer a priority processing by paying extra for that whole process. Once you have your visa, you will then be ready to travel and start your course well within time. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any suggestions for any videos that you'd like us to cover or any topics that you want us to speak about relating to UK visas and nationality, we would love to hear from you. 
to drop in your suggestions in the comments box below. I'll see you next time.